Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos and let's make a super cute Halloween boo sign. So I grabbed one of those tin ghosts from Dollar Tree. I had this frame that I bought at Hobby Lobby for like $1.19. It was on clearance at 90% off. I always go in there and buy the frames. This super cute ghost scrapbook paper. These little, I don't know, I guess they're like cardboard cutouts. They're from Dollar Tree and they're all Halloween. A bunch of different ribbons and fabric scraps and all sorts of things like that. Some buttons and some white paint and black paint. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that frame and I'm going to paint the whole inside black. So the little center piece, which kind of sits down in the back and then the whole outside. I'm going to leave the whole outside edge frame with the white paint. Next, I'm going to take that little boo and I cut the hanger off of it. And then I'm going to paint that with some white paint. You can use acrylic or chalk. I think I used acrylic paint and I did like two or three coats on it. Then I'm going to take some of that holographic illusions paint it's called. It's like basically glitter paint. You could use like the sparkle mod podge. You could use some glamour dust. It's totally up to you. Whatever you have on hand. I just happen to have this on hand. So once I covered the whole ghost I am going to set that aside and then I'm going to do the frame of the frame which you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm going to do just this edge on the outside because like I said, it has like a little lip that the center kind of like sits back a little bit. So I'm just going to go around the whole edge of this, but not in the center or on the edge of the frame. So this frame has two frames, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm going to put this glitter stuff all along the whole edges. And I mean, you could use real glitter, but this stuff is so much easier. And guess what? It doesn't make a mess like glitter does. So as you can see, look how sparkly those are. So next I'm gonna take that piece of ghost scrapbook paper and I'm going to Mod Podge that right to my center of this. And like I said, it's kind of recessed back in. So I'm just gonna do it in just that part of this frame. So it's gonna be set kind of down in behind everything. So once I have a good coat of the Mod Podge in, I'm going to lay that ghost scrapbook paper right on top of that and smooth it all out. And how cute is this paper? Like, I love it. And we want to make sure that when you put this paper on, if you're going to use this kind of paper, that all your ghosts are going the direction that you're going to hang it. So you want to make sure that your paper is upright, like if you're going to hang it this way, that all your little ghost spaces are going the right direction. Because I have made mistakes before and put paper on like upside down because I wasn't paying attention to the back of the sign. And look at those little ghosts. They're so cute. So next I'm going to take and I'm going to hot glue that goes that we just painted the tin one or aluminum one whatever that material is I think they're tin right on top of the frame on the outside so I'm just going to add some hot glue right there and at the top and I'm just going to hot glue that in and as you can see those little ghosts from that scrapbook paper are going to show through the eyes look how cute that is how adorable right so next I'm going to take some of that ribbon and fabric and I just made this like really big messy bow and I'm just going to hot glue that right to the top of this little ghost's head. So I'm going to put it right there and that's going to cover up that spot where the hanger was supposed to be for this little um, tin ghost from Dollar Tree. So this is like just a really fun Halloween ghost project. So in the center of that bow, I'm going to add the um, button that I showed you at the beginning. And just to cover up like where I tied off the ribbon, I'm going to cut out that bootable cutout from Dollar Tree. And these are like, um, I don't know how to explain them. They're like scrapbook cutouts and you can use them for, you know, different projects, scrapbooking them on. But they're kind of made out of like a little bit of a thicker than paper. So it's kind of like almost like a cardboard. And I'm just going to cut that out. And it says, have a beautiful Halloween. So as you can see, I'm just making sure that none of that white is showing through that was around the edges. And I just wanted all of the black. And then I'm just going to glue that right to the middle. And I used like this little wooden circles that I had because I kind of wanted it to come up a little bit off the top of her. So I'm just going to use that to kind of push the piece of cardboard out so that it kind of stands out a little bit on its own. So I just hot glued those right to the ghost. And then I hot glued the little sign to the top of those little wooden pieces. 
And now I'm just kind of trimming up the bow to make sure that she doesn't look like she's got a totally messy bow on, kind of getting all of the pieces all even. And how absolutely adorable is this? Look, I can't, I love, love, love seeing the little ghost coming through the eyes. How adorable. Thank you so much for watching.